ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Christelle Martinet, and I'm here with the monthly readings for the month of June. Now, what do we have this month of June? What do we have? What do we have? Well, right off the bat, I can say that the, we start with a penumbral lunar eclipse, a lunar eclipse um, between the nights of, uh, between the days of 5 and 6th of June. And what does that mean? The penumbral moon lunar eclipse, it will look like a round circle with light all around it. Penumbral is shadow, means shadow. This lunar eclipse is in Sagittarius. And then the next one takes place. That was a lunar eclipse. The next one takes place um, on June 21st. And it is a solar eclipse in Cancer with very intense and antagonistic energy, followed by unpredictable and difficult to follow events. And so this moon, sorry, this June, this June has two moons and two eclipses, a solar and a lunar eclipse. So you can imagine. Um, on June 21st, the moon will block the sun over Africa, uh, the Central African Republic, Congo, and Ethiopia, south of Pakistan as well, and northern India um, and China, most mostly all of China. Uh, you'll be able to see that. It's going to be very intense June um, with the potential to cleanse the potential to purify close some loops or wounds that's really important to remember or get rid of eradicate some unconscious or borrowed patterns that we may have which could be old or very very old and could be ours or from our ancestors so the solar eclipse in cancer on june 21st represents a great time a propitious moment for letting go of the past I'll say it again, letting go of the past. How many times have we heard that before? But only after we offer ourselves enough time for closure following some less pleasant events. So how are we going to conduct these readings this month? Let me show you the decks that I'll be using. I have the Egorov Tarot. It's a, it's a Russian deck. I got it in um, St. Petersburg. Gold edition of the Egorov Tarot. Beautiful deck. Beautiful deck. Slightly different from the Universal Tarot deck. Then I have the Silver Witchcraft deck, which is one of my favorites. I always say it's one of my favorites. And then I have my Verasipila cards that you know I use all the time. And of course, I have my runes. So, um, for those of you who are here for the first time, if you like what you see, do share, subscribe, and ring the notification button so you'll get notified. I would appreciate that. Enjoy these readings and write to me under uh, these um, each reading to tell me how it resonated. Tell us a little bit about your story. It's always nice to share our stories, especially in this time of social seclusion, you know, and it's, you know, we are all in the same boat. We are. So enjoy the readings. Namaste. Hello. Hello, Scorpio. Let's see what's in store for you for the month of, of June. Scorpio, for the month of June. Spirit, tell me what's in store for Scorpio for the month of June. Tell me what's in store for Scorpio for the month of June. Scorpio for the month of June, this difficult June month with two eclipses. What is in store for Scorpio in the month of June with the two eclipses? What's in store for Scorpio in June, the month of the two eclipses? Wow. <laughs> Let's, wow. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got the star right off the bat. We've got the star. So that is the star. Then we have the five of cups. Now this is the only worrisome card that gives me uh, cause for concern, but we'll look at that. Right across from that, we have fertility. And fertility in this deck is equivalent to the Empress card, the third major arcana. Then we have the 
magician. Can you imagine that? Magician, we've got the chariot. You are riding on a wing and a prayer. And then we've got the sun. It could doesn't get any better than this, Scorpio. It doesn't get any better than this. When somebody asks you, Scorpio, how are you? You say, I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic because you are fantastic. I'm going to take uh, cards on that five of cups to see why in the world it's there in the middle of all of these. Well, there's six cards out, five of which are major arcana. This is a turning point in your life, literally a turning point in your life. What in God's name is the five of cups doing there? Let's take a look. Ah, wow, what do we get? I mean, look at this, look at this. I have the death card. I've got the eight of wands and I've got the high, uh, the, the hanged man, two more, a major arcana with the death card. Let me pull from under the deck and I've got the 10 of cup, the 10 of coins, abundance to abundance squared. So it looks like to me that you are trying to break the cycle of, uh, um, because uh, in your world, money is a very strong, uh, powerful language of love to you. And in your world, when the flow of cash and the flow of the spiritual, the spiritual good, the spiritual value is not there, then there's poverty in your life, spiritually speaking now, mind you. Now, what I'm looking at here is you wanting to break once and for all that cycle of poverty, spiritual poverty, because you're on a wing and a prayer. You're riding on a wing and a prayer, meaning you're riding high, going fast, and you want to change your, you literally want to change your attitude as if it's homework for you. I love to see you like this, Scorpio. This is the Scorpio that I married. <laughs> this is the Scorpio that I didn't marry, as the saying goes. This is the Scorpio that we all love, you know? Um, look, it looks like to me that you've got plans. You've got places to go, people to see, and you are ready. You are literally ready. My God, where do I go next? <laughs> where do I go next? Let's, let's get a little more information about that star. What kind of guidance does that star offer you, Scorpio? This is the best reading of, I hate to say it for the other signs, but this is the best reading so far. Okay. So now we get to reality check here. Okay. The star is guiding you how there's the four of swords. So that calls for a delay and planning. It calls for planning though. It calls for planning. And here is the nine of wands. There's a burden here still to be brought on your shoulders and the high priestess, but you're in love. You know, you are in a, you're moving from a position of love. You're definitely moving from a position of love and the star is there to guide you through this you know, through unshackling the bonds that the nine of wands has on you, there's still things that you need to learn and, and sort of a bit of healing, healing in this, I see you extremely as being extremely healthy. Like you've haven't been in a long time and at least a year. I'm seeing that your health is literally bringing you to the point of creativity. And this is what I'm looking at with this, um, um, this fertility card there, there will be those of you who will become pregnant in this month of June. That works very well for you. We have the devil card. We got the devil. We got the five of swords, those regrets, and we have the two of coins and those regrets concern, uh, Scorpio, the fact that you didn't get enough of that horizontal dance with the person that you were involved in. You had you made up like the camel there's, you know, the camel put stores, water, food. If you should have done it more so you could have put it away for a rainy day, at least for the memories, but all kidding aside, that death card there is talking about passion. It really is. And uh, the, the desire to, to be there again, you want to go back to that moment of passion. You have just experienced a, a, an awakening in that sense. And the cards are reflecting this awakening and you're, 
you're hoping again. There's that hope again, but it's more than hope. It's not the hope, um, Scorpio. It is the absolute knowledge, absolute truth of knowing that you are loved. You are in a world of love. You are linked to other people now, even in response, even in in relation to the person of your heart, the person, uh, that special person, that significant person for you. That's one thing. But through that and through that certainty, you have now had all opening up all of your channels of communication and all of your other networks, friends, relatives, uh, giving thanks, your generosity, going back, talking to people you haven't spoken to a lot in a long time. I'm going to the magician here and I'm seeing at the magician, the page of wands, the queen of swords and the ace of cups. Look, you may Scorpio be involved with the, um, a waters, um, sorry, a, an air sign, um, which is Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And what I'm looking at is uh, there's love here. There's love and passion. There's love, passion, and you want more of it, Scorpio. You won't stop. I mean, this is, th you're in your element. This is in your, you know, you're, you're in like Flint. This is you. This is you. This is you. You're coming out. You're being born again. It's fantastic. This I have the chariot. I'm going over to the chariot and I've got the star again. You've got a lot of guidance. You are really under a lucky star. You know that nine of cups. What more do you want? I'm going to cry. What more do you want? <laughs> and then the moon. So many major arcana. June is the June is the most important moment of this year for you. The most important month. And that 21st of June, especially look out that solar eclipse. Wow. You know, it's just, wow. I have no words. I'm speechless. Wow. Now we've got the sun here, the outgoing card. I mean, I, I just, I'm at loss for words, Scorpio. I'm at a loss for words. It is, wow. Three of swords. Okay. We, our feet are back on the ground. Eight of Swords and the Three of Coins. The sun shining, dampening the sun, the clouds over the sun. Concern. That possibility of you getting hurt and I don't want to. I can't. My soul can't take it anymore. This litany that you pronounce all the time. I can't. My soul is not ready for that. I can't. So we've got to get rid of that because literally it will bring you to a halt in action. You're not going to move. You're not going to talk. You're not going to write. You're not going to communicate with them. We need you. We need you to come out this three of coins. This is a highly spiritual moment for you. Granted, Scorpio, you're thinking, I know that they hear me, they feel me, they communicate with me. They know what I'm thinking. I know they know what I'm thinking. And this is making you almost stand still because you know that they know that you know. But this is life, Scorpio. This is life. And when I say this is life, I mean that life, we're flesh and blood. And flesh and blood means we can re we can be as high as the sixth dimension. We could be highly spiritual beings. We could be channelers of ascended masters and anything you want, but we are a flesh and blood and we are emotional beings. We cry, we ache, and we hurt. Going right on that. Here we go. What is the key and what is the cure? Superbia is vanity, but this is also success. We have Riunione, meeting, and Gran Signore, meeting with that special person, will bring you again to experience that balanced nature of harmony with the universe. Whew, I'm getting, it's just exhausting looking at it. This is exhausting, <laughs> Scorpio, you lucky son of a gun. Okay, I'm looking at this uh, moon here, the Luna, taking a... Three major, yeah, three uh, Sibylla cards over that. And I've got 
Será que a senhora, the old lady who speaks to change, positive change, we have a consolante surpresa, this consoling surprise that something, you know, nonetheless, something happens around that uh, solar eclipse that just has you thinking, pensiero, keeps you thinking and thinking and thinking. And what I'm looking at, Scorpio, is you, you, as being so overwhelmed with joy, something that doesn't occur often to you because you're a person who likes to wallow. And I say that um, in, in a positive way, you like to wallow, but here there's joy and you're not used to it. And the re reading here, Scorpio is telling you, get ready on your mark, get set, go because the wow of the month is here and you've got to remember that you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve the wow of June. Okay, Scorpio, let's see. This is the best reading so far and I ain't joking. I'm not joking. Sorry, the rest of you guys. All right, so we have some things here that just don't quit this nasty need that I call it. Need is a rune of um, delay, all right? You need patience, delays, constraints. You may not be able to see that person or you may create the delays yourself. But I have here A Watts. A Watts is movement, ships, shifts, sorry, movement. Go Well, it could be ships. You may be moving on a shift, but um, this is a change. You're, you're, many of you will be seeing, um, will be looking around house hunting and thinking, well, how could it be possible for me to then have a place where I can have that person be with me? I want to create a, a, a cove for us to love ourselves. I don't want to include them. I think it's, I want, this is a surprise. I want to make my house, my home and my, my crowned joy. And this is uh, interesting because then we also have a uh, rider, which is a wagon, which is movement also, which is a journeying room, which is a great time to negotiate. Go look and see if there's something you find and get that price down if you are in the market for buying. Then we have A Watts. Now, A Watts is a very powerful ally. And here in this reading, it's all about protection. So get off of it. Come off that fence. Scorpio, you have all the cards in the right places for you to move forward without even risking your soul's, your soul at all, your soul's pain. There's no risk there. Then I have Isa here. Okay, fine. This is also a cooling down. This is ice cooling down in the relationship because of the wow factor and the extreme joy that is just too much. You, you, you feel like your heart is pounding and you can't uh, keep that joy in. You know, it's a very interesting, it's like bubbly fire and water coming out of you, Scorpio. You don't know what to do with it. So happy, 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 which is not you. And you kind of snicker and laugh to yourself because you're, you know, yes, I am happy, but he, 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 I won't let anybody know. You know, it's so funny. Then I have Yera here and Yera, Yera is a harvest and come on, uh, you are due, overdue. There are rewards here. These are karmic rewards, Scorpio. Um, Yera is all about legalities as well. If you're waiting on the legal ruling, it's coming up and it you will be in your favor. Look, Yera talks about timing and the timing couldn't be better for you, Scorpio. The timing, it's always now. Remember, it's always now for you, Scorpio. Now I've got here a rune that I don't like in this position. This is Tyr in its Merc state and usually Tyr talks about victory and competition. Well, what I'm looking here at here is that Scorpio, if you had competition and you're not acting, you need to be extremely motivated in order for you to revive that power, revive the money increase. Because otherwise, if you don't move and take action, the arrow will never go bright stave. And success will not be yours if you don't act. There's another rune, Merkstave, and this 
is manats. And manats is all about interdependent interdependence. It's mankind. And you don't include that other person in your thoughts, in your in your games, in your talk. And in because it's Merck Stave. And Manat um, talks about yes, you're making plans, but it's almost too early to make plans because you're not including a, the person of your uh, dreams in them. Then we've got this nasty, nasty, hagal, hagalas. And this is, again, delays, limitations, constraints. It's a difficult learning process. You, Scorpio, being in a position of having to learn how to feel, honest to goodness, light, joy, and happiness, which is not common to you. Then we've got Keynots here, which is also Merck's Dave. And what does that talk about? Well, Keynots is a rune that generally is warm. It talks about strength. It talks about energy and power. It talks about opening up. Well, you are, the more joyous you feel, it seems, Scorpio, the more you're closing in. It talks about wanting to start something new. But being Merck's Dave, it is, it's as if, and this is the uh, narrative here, Scorpio. Oh, yes, I feel wonderful. I'm going to make plans, but I'm not going to tell anybody. You know, I'm not going to tell that person because I, I just can't, you know. And it's interesting. And what it looks like that the runes are telling you, Scorpio, joy, joy to the world and joy to you. Get used to it because there's more where that goes came from. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, Scorpio friends. I do hope you enjoy your June. Bye-bye until we read together again.